Hi everyone, Sierra Thompson, Independent Sensi Consultant here. I am bringing to you a little review of two of the testers that I warmed. So I had a voting on my channel and on Instagram uh, to see which tester I should warm. Now, as a consultant, we get a lot of testers. So we <laughs> generally, I think most consultants probably warm them or give them away, which is what I generally do. I will give away testers so that people can try the scent if I have a ton of extra testers. So um, that's generally what people do, I think. But I have so many now that I'm getting to the point where I really need to warm through them because they're just accumulating too, too fast. So before we get into this review, please like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. I appreciate all the love on my channel. A lot of people have been commenting more and um, like just, you know, interacting with me more on YouTube and I appreciate that so much. So let's get into this. So the first scent that I warmed was Pink Sugarberry Mint. Now it is a cotton candy type scent. Like just, I mean, it's almost um, like on the verge of being too sweet. Um, it has, there's like, it reminds me of something and I can't quite place it. And this is kind of going to be weird. It's going to like, I like the scent when it's warming, but when I smell it right here, it, it kind of has that candy feel that like when you eat, um, almost like cotton candy, when you eat the cotton candy and that taste, the aftertaste where like the weird aftertaste sometimes that you get after cotton candy, does anybody know what I'm talking about? This kind of gives me that vibe. <laughs> I don't know. I like cotton candy though. And this is a very like, it's pink. It's pink. You can't see the wax, but it is pink, like the color of that label. And it is a very like candy type scent, very candy type and um, sweet, um, almost like fresh sweet. Very nice. I'm not a huge fan of it when I smell it like this, but I like I like it when it's warming. So I put it in my daughter's room because her room is probably, I would say, the smallest or second smallest. It's hard to tell between her and my oldest son. I think their room is similar. Um, so smallest room, and I put it in her um, warmer. I think her warmer is the charred, the charred warmer, I believe. And I think it has a 20 watt bulb if I think I'm recalling correctly, because it kind of, it's a little more insulated because it isn't just see-through glass, so it does do just fine. Her room can sometimes be a little cold because she likes to keep the fan on, so I made sure to turn her fan off so I could get like a really like good review of the scent. So I put it in Wednesday around 12 or 12.30, I believe, in the afternoon, and it's still going today is Friday, and it's 12.45. I just walked in there before I started warming this, before I started this review. And um, it still smells fantastic. It smells so good in her room. And I actually commented that. I remember, I think I put it in, and it's so funny because I comment that her room smells so good like I didn't do that. <laughs> like, of course, it, it smells good because I put the scent in there. Um, but she does like scent. So she, she does get like a little involved. She'd be like, Mom, can I change out my scent? But this time I put it in there and I kept walking in her room like, it smells so good in here. Duh, Sierra, you did it. Um, so I put it in there. It smells fantastic in her room. It is a nice medium, medium, like little over medium performing scent in her room. And I feel like that's pretty good, um, especially for it to be such a sweet scent. It's That's really good to me. It, I will say that our warmers turn on and off automatically. So um, it's not like a 24 hour period, like just constantly running. It was until probably 9 p.m. on Wednesday, and then it turned on Thursday at 8 and turned off at 9 again. So every day at 9, they turn off, but they turn on at 8 in the morning. So that's a good amount of time that it is warming in there, and it still smells really good in there. Now, I think that it is, it's medium right now, still, still really good right now, and that's with her window cracked. So there's airflow coming in and I can still smell it really well. We will see if it lasts longer than this. I feel like it might be tomorrow, it might be the time to change it. So I would say that this is probably gonna be like a three day warm. I will come back here and comment. I will post a comment underneath if it is longer than that three day mark. Like I'm, I'm thinking that the three day is gonna be it for this scent. But it is 
fantastic. It is sweet. So if you like cotton candy and candy type scents, you will probably like this. If you don't, I don't recommend trying that scent or, um, you know, buying it anywhere. So it's just, it's one of those scents that it's very, very sweet. Um, so if you like have it in your club, I'm sure you already know, and that's probably why you have it in there. It kind of has a similar vibe to me as like sugar, but but more like sugar is a perfumey type vibe to me, whereas pink sugar berry mint is more candy like to me. I don't know, and it um, but it's very pretty, and it's doing fantastic in her room and it is a very feminine type scent to me it doesn't like I wouldn't put it in my boys room but I'm sure they wouldn't mind but I didn't I wouldn't put it in there so it did well and I will comment um if it lasts longer than that three-day point but I doubt it will so the next set that I warmed is summer holiday and I actually warmed it here I will show you in this warmer here um so that uh summer rain warmer is the one that I used for this scent and it was only because I had two testers now summer holiday seems like a floral scent to me I actually don't have the scent notes or anything with me so um, it seems floral fruity so um, like it oh, so it's a pretty scent but I actually was not like huge into it when um, when I got it, I like I wasn't, oh my gosh, summer holiday. Summer holiday is one of those scents that I actually overlook almost every year. So I don't know why, because it it seems powdery. That's probably that's probably why. Um let me let me smell both. Let me see. Yeah, it's more powdery in this one. Um it seems a little powdery, like a powdery floral, but it has sweetness to it. A, a nice sweetness to it. So when I warmed it, I will say it was very strong the first day. <laughs> the first, that first eight hours was a powerhouse right here. Like you could walk out and smell it in the whole area. And this is a huge open space. So that's pretty good if you're looking for something like that. Now though, it is toned down. So I would say it since I started at the same time as my daughter's, it would have been Wednesday at noon. And today on Friday, I can't smell it anymore. So um, that would be like a maybe two day or um, it, it might do better in a smaller area because, you know, it's harder in this type of space here to kind of see how long it would last because some scents are better at like lasting long. They're just kind of like low and, and, and last for a long time. But this one was very strong the first 12 hours. And then after that, it kind of died down a lot. So I would say it's probably a two day or. But it was it was nice though. Like it was really I I was surprised. Like I don't know why I always overlook it. I think it's the powderiness. I'm not a huge fan of like powdery scents, but it does kind of have like a powder powdery type vibe to it. I don't know. That's so strange that I've never worn it. <laughs> anyway, I enjoyed both. I'm like pleasantly surprised by summer holiday. Who thought? Um <laughs> Please like and comment below. Have you guys warmed these scents and did you like them? Um, do you get the same like powder vibe from summer holiday? It's totally powdery. I don't I don't know what that is, but it smells better when it's warming to me. And pink sugar berry mint. Let me know if you like this one because I feel like this one could be one that a lot of people would hate just because it is very sweet. It's like either you love it or you hate it probably because it's so sweet. Um, but that's my review for those two scents. I will be warming some more and sharing what I'm warming. I've been trying to get through more testers. I will probably have um, another post so that you can vote on the testers that I would like to warm for the next week. Um, and yeah, please just like, subscribe, comment below if you like this. And I will let you guys know about the pink sugar berry mint if it lasts longer than the three-day mark. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.